Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to be doing kind of an overview of the Walker Edison Sereno desk. It's a three-piece desk, it's a corner desk, it's a it's an L shape, and it's a glass tabletop with metal frame. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, questions I've seen posted online about it, so we're going to try to answer as many as possible in this video. Uh, first of all, let's kind of show you a little bit about the desk itself. The desk itself, it's 51 by 51, and it's just under 20 inches deep. So that gives you plenty of room to kind of fit things on the desk tabletop itself. The desk does have a pull-out tray for a keyboard. It's about 21 inches long, so you could fit any keyboard in here that's obviously it's a fairly big size. Here, for example, I have the Razer Black Widow Ultimate keyboard. That'll fit here fine. However, there's no space for a mouse. And so I have mine up on the actual desk itself. That's where I keep my main keyboard. And this is the uh, Razer Desk Stalker. I keep that up top with the mouse because it just makes gaming a little bit easier. Now I'm actually looking up higher. Again, you have plenty of room. You got the keyboard, mouse, big mouse pad. You got the monitor up here as well. So you have a nice big uh, space available for doing whatever you kind of want up on the desktop itself. So again, the desk itself, it's 51 by 51, so it gives you plenty of desk space to kind of fit whatever you need to put on the desk itself. Uh, here, these are each of these monitors are 24-inch monitors. You can see I have two of them side by side that takes up about half the desk. So there is a plenty of room if you want to do multi-monitors uh, for your computer. To give you another idea of how big the desk size is, here we have it's a 32-inch TV. This is kind of how it fits on the desk itself if you're kind of into the gaming market, uh, the console gaming market. Again, you got plenty of room for this. Again, this is a 32 inch TV and that fits very nicely on uh, one full arm of the desk here. And again, I have the two other uh, 24 inch monitors here, the 32 inch TV here. And here's my computer itself I have back here, but you have a very big amount of space to kind of put whatever you want on your desk, uh, on your desktop itself. Now I'm a fairly big guy and my legs are pretty long. This desk hasn't really been that big of an issue for me. You get about 24 to 25 inches of clearance underneath the uh, keyboard tray here. And if you were not going to install the keyboard tray, you don't necessarily have to. From the, uh, all the way from the floor to the desktop. You got about 28 inches, try to get that into focus here, 28 inches of clearance underneath the desk. So again, you got kind of a big amount of space if you're a tall person with long legs. It's really not been a problem for me. Again, I'm 6'5 and a half, and so it's, this desk has been fine for me. Uh, definitely helps when you have an adjustable chair so that you can change the uh, height of the chair and whatnot. Uh, it hasn't been an issue for me whatsoever. When facing the corner of the wall, it's a curved thing, so you do have room to put, say, like a lamp. You can kind of like a towering lamp above here. Uh, it's not flush against the wall in the corner. Uh, so if you were kind of interested in putting in like a corner lamp or something, you are able to do that with this desk. It is a rounded corner. It kind of curves all the way around to uh, the other side. And then again, that's kind of where all my cables end up all going out on this corner here. So again, I tried covering everything you need to know about the desk and as quickly as possible. Uh, just again, so a quick recap, it's 51 inches by 51 inches. It's 20 inches deep. Uh, that's plenty of space to put kind of everything you need to do. It hasn't been a problem for me in terms of uh, having my legs underneath the desk. Again, I'm a pretty tall person. That hasn't been an issue for me. You do have the uh, keyboard tray. You can put a keyboard here. Uh, but I like keeping my main keyboard up on top, just because for gaming-wise, it's a lot more comfortable to have the keyboard and the mouse on the same level. Uh, it's tempered glass, uh, so if you were to pound on it and shatter it for whatever reason, uh, it's meant to spider web, so it won't be just kind of charred of glass everywhere. Uh, because it is a glass surface desk, typically you're going to get them pretty dirty, especially if you get the black one like I have, it does tend to show things really easily. Uh, so one thing I recommend for cleaning are these Pledge Multi-Surface Everyday Wipes. Uh, these are fantastic. Uh, you just simply wipe everything down and resealable. They're the best for cleaning the desk, makes life a little bit easier. In terms of constructing the desk, it was a little difficult, but really not too bad. It took me about 45 minutes to do. The instructions are really well written, they're really well, uh, you can understand them pretty easily. Uh, so there's really no problem with the construction itself. You do need, I believe, a screwdriver 
Uh, it does come with the Allen wrench, but you're going to need a screwdriver for certain things. But other than that, uh, the construction wise, it was pretty simple to do. It wouldn't hurt to have a second person to hold things, but uh, if you have something like a bed you can kind of lean things up against, uh, it doesn't hurt too bad. It's pretty easy to do with just one person. Uh, one thing I will mention is that I hated the packaging. I hate styrofoam. It's that really cheap styrofoam and the really thin sheets that you touch and just shatters into all these different little guys that kind of pop up everywhere. So you definitely have to vacuum after you build the desk because you'll just have styrofoam everywhere. So if you have animals around, I'd lock them up somewhere just so they don't start eating the styrofoam. Uh, this is a weird heads up. I thought I'd let you know about ahead of time. Again, styrofoam kind of gets everywhere and it's not really the healthiest things for animals to eat. So if you're building the desk, keep your animals away somewhere so they don't accidentally start eating the styrofoam. Uh, but if you have any questions about the desk itself, feel free to let me know. You can leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, typically this desk goes anywhere from about $100 to $200 depending where you get it. Uh, lately this has been a much more uh, bought desk on Amazon because they lowered the price pretty drastically. I believe you can get it now for about $109 I believe and it comes with free shipping so excellent deal. Highly recommend it. That's what I went through. I went through Amazon to get the desk. It does come in three styles. There's the pure black version, which is what I have. I think this is like the most modern and sleek version. Uh, there's also the white uh, metal with clear glass, and there's another third version on there. I forget what it is, but uh, again, you can just check that on Amazon. Uh, you can find them on there again, about 109 to 115 dollars, depending on where you get it. Right now on Amazon, the different styles range in different prices. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching. Again, this has kind of been a quick overview for the desk. Try to cover all the main questions people have asked right, up, uh, right from the beginning. Because um, I know a lot of people just want fast answers. That's kind of what I'm here for. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to give it a like. It really does help me out. Uh, and also, if you like this video, feel free to check out all my other videos. And feel free to subscribe. We'll have more content coming soon. Including we have Daisy gameplay and all sorts of shenanigans that way. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.